Oh, this looks good. Oh. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a, another good looking Sudoku here. Uh, there's not a ton of clues, although there's these thermos are taking a pretty big stand here, but uh, overall there's not a ton of information here. Uh, this one is called Thermopolis by Richard Carter. And let's just get into our rules and see if we can get this thing figured out. So we have normal Sudoku supply. So every row, every column, and every three by three version contains the digits one through nine once each. Digits on a thermometer increase from the bulb end. So let's look at any of these. This is the bulb, this is the tip, this is the lowest digit, and they continue up until they get to the highest digit. Now, of course, they can be separate uh, versions of all of these on each thermo. There's no requirement for anything to be similar. And we have digits in a cage summed to the indicated total. So these three digits here, whatever they are, must add up to that given digit. And then digits separated by a black dot have a ratio of one to two. So these two guys, whatever this is, this is double or half. If this is X, this is two X or X over two. And that's it. Those three fairly simple um, and we call them, I guess, semi-basic uh, rule sets for um, variant Sudoku. Nothing out of the ordinary is probably the better way to put it there. So that said, let's, uh, let's jump into this one, see if we can get it figured out. So... I'm thinking we're going to have to have some instance where a thermo and maybe a crop key um, duke it out to see what can be what. And I think that's probably where I'm going to start. I'll start at both of these guys and see what the bare minimums can be. So this is somewhere between... One and five. Are these all the same? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they all look like they're five. So, so if these are somewhere between one and five, and these are somewhere between five and nine, now these clearly can't be five, seven, or nine because we can't put five, seven, or nine on a black uh, crop key dot because you can't double or have them and have valid. Sudoku um, digits. So this guy here, then the max it could ever be is seven. So this could be what well, can't be eight. Well, let's 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 look at it somewhat differently now. The the minimum and maximum of this guy are six and eight now, which means this is either three or four. This can't ever be a three because three, two, one. So this would have to just be a four, and this would have to be an eight. So there is, there was a little. Um, something there that kind of figured out what was what. Now, therefore, this has to be three, two, and one. And I'm going to look at that real quick again just to make sure I didn't mess anything up. So, no, yeah, it's either six or eight. So, this would have to be either three or four. And this cannot be three. Yep, yeah, that's correct. Okay. Now this can't be eight. Now, can we go back down the line here? Seven, six, five, four. This can't be a five. Well, also we can start looking at what these guys, because we've taken one digit away from what, well, from what this could be. We've taken multiple digits away from what this can be. So let's look at this guy first. It cannot start with one, two, or three. So the bare minimum is four. I think we said the max would be five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So uh, let's just put these in as what they're, um, everything they can be and go from there. I think we're going to find out this is just a nine. Seven, eight, yeah, eight or nine. So this is nine. So we can get those out of the way. Now there wasn't anything else that was crossing over on these guys yet. So I don't think we can go much further there. How about this guy? Because again, we know this can't be a one, but there's it could still start at a two quite easily. So two, three, four, and five. So it can't be five, because that would be six, seven, eight, nine. Eight and nine are both looking at this guy. And this guy no, it can't be eight. This can't be nine. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, so we can kind of. This can't be four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's get rid of all our possibilities here. Six, seven. Okay. So this is going to give us something like this. Do we have anything? looking at it not quite i'm thinking we're going to start to see some things kind of joining up here so 
So let's take on our on this guy here and see if we start getting any pairs or anything like that that we can use. Uh, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven. We know this can't be four. So we do have a five, six, seven triple here. That's good. Which we know these have to be from one, two, three, and nine. This can't be three. These can't be two. A little heavy on the uh, the marking here, but we're gonna stick with it for a second. See what we can get out of this. Um, is there anything else that breaks if we have this as a four? If this is a four, this is five, six, seven. This is six, five, four, three. No, it doesn't. What if we go? Their minimums. I don't think it will. At least I don't see an instance where it does break anything there. Okay. Um, I don't know that there's going to be much use to this other thermo, but... The, the, the other clue really is, is starting to look at this 9. It's like we're getting to the point where we might be able to start paring it down, but I don't quite have enough information. So let's just look at this. Can't be 2. Two, three, five, six, seven. Well, yeah, we can. Uh, this nine, eight here is going to start bringing this down. This has to be at max of seven. So six here, get rid of the seven and the six here. This can't be six or five. This can't be five or four. So this ends up being. This could get up to a four, or down to a four, I should say, and this could get down to a five, it looks like it is. So five, four, three, two, one is possible. Three, four, five, six, and seven are possible. And some mixture in between. Now we do actually have a five, six, seven triple here, and we can get rid of this nine. I just didn't see that previously. We have five, six, and seven. So these, th okay, so we are getting into this nine age here. We cannot ever have any of the digits five, six, seven, eight, or nine in this guy. So does that force us to have a two, three, four? So we had a one. The options are one, two, six, and one, three, five. So that's yeah, that's not that doesn't work. So this has to be a two, three, four, which means this is going to end up just being a one. Let's get rid of all those ones. That one there puts us here. Three, four, five six and seven this has to be five and eight this has to be seven this has to be six and this has to be five yeah so there we got little um things starting to flow downhill if you will this has to be six by sudoku this is five and seven this therefore has to be four three and two this can no longer be four this no longer can be three and this one here just has to be nine, this has to be two, and this has to be three. There we go. We got a lot of information there all of a sudden. Now, is there anything that's glaringly obvious before we start diving into some of this stuff? Uh, this can't be three, can't be five, it can't be four. So this is six. And that seems to be it at the moment. Maybe we should start looking at some of these crop dots because it looks like they're going to have some restrictions. Now we know this can't be from a 3, 6, so it's 1, 2, 4, and 8. This can't be 4 or 8, so this can't be 8. So we end up with a 2 that has to be in here, so this can't be a 2 anymore. Uh, this can't be 4, this can't be 3, this can't be 2. Let's just clean that stuff up just so we don't miss any. Uh, doubles or anything like that. So this ends up just being whatever this doesn't have in it. <clears throat> Which is somewhat curious. Again, we have... None of these can be from 3.6, which is... I guess it's sort of interesting. This can't be 2, so this can't be 1. I'm trying to find a, a triple, a double, something along those lines where I can start 
paring someone's stuff down. This can't be one or two. This can't be two. This can't be one. So this just is a four eight there. Uh, this can't ever be eight. What else do we have? <clears throat> Uh, I wonder if it's just more in the Sudoku realm. <clears throat> that there might be something doing. Let's, uh, let's check around and see. Mm. Okay, fours. There we go. Let's do this. Because <clears throat> I wasn't seeing anything very obvious with these crop keys. It seems like Sudoku would give us a couple more. Um, pieces of information where we can continue. So yeah, now this can be 8 and 4. <clears throat> this is 4, so this isn't 4, so this isn't 8. Let's continue along. Mm, nothing there, really. 5's nothing of great use. There's a few things here and there, but... <clears throat> Same is going to go for our sixes. Let's just kind of run through these just to check. Okay, this has to be an eight, so there's something. One of these must be an eight, so therefore this is eight. Ooh, get on the right thing. And one of these two, but I'm not going to mark that just yet. Okay. And then nines, okay. I think we might have had a possibility that there's certain givens over here. Yes, yeah, six, seven, and nine. I thought I saw when I was going through those options about there were two or three digits that couldn't go over here, so they have clearly had to go over here. So therefore, this has to be from one, five, and eight. That's not one. And that's going to give us a couple more digits that we can work with. This is two. These are from 1 and 3. Yeah, didn't quite give us a couple more, but uh, we do get a 2, though. That's good. So this can't be 2, which means this is 1 and 2. This is not 2, so this is 2. Is that going to finish off our 2s in any way? It is not. We know this isn't a 2. So therefore, this isn't a 1, so it's a 4-8 pair. There we go. We get an 8 here. We can get rid of this guy if I can hit the right button. And that 4-8 also gives us a 1. Which means this is a 1. And what about these? this row here? We need a 1 and we need a 9. There's a 1 here. So let's get 1 and 9 put in. These two, I need a 1 again, so we need a 1 and a 7. These two digits have to be from 7 and 9. We've got that, 7 and 9, that, that. And where else? Do, 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 do. What about these two guys? We need a 3 and a 7. Sadly, none of those look to be... Wait, why did that... Why did I type 8 there? 3 and 7, I said. Excuse me. Now, again, the 8s. One of these two is an 8. One of these two is an 8. And one of these two is an 8. So there's nothing that really there. 9s. Again, no. Okay. So is there anything, anything left clue-wise? Or am I just having to kind of stick back and forth between Sudoku? I think I am. Yeah, okay. Let's just continue back around the loop again. One, seven, three, not three. These two digits have to be from five and six. We don't have it. This one gives us a four, though. And we can tell what these guys are. Uh, they have to be three and nine. We do have that here, so let's put them in. And let's go over this side, I guess. Five and six, we can put those in. These have to be from 3 and 9. We can put those in. I said Doku. I think we're pretty much just through this now. It's just going to be cleaning up a bit here and there. This is a given 9. Uh, these two are 7 and 8. 
we don't quite have those figured. What about these two guys? Five and six. Okay. We're going to have something here. We just got to see where the last bit of it is. So let's go back through. Our ones are done. Twos have got to be pretty darn close, but they're not quite. Same with the threes. Oh, that three there is what I didn't see. Okay. Sometimes that's just all it takes for me to see some of these things, is to just highlight them. And then that'll break pretty much everything else out. That's six and five. We're just going through the, the motions to finish this guy now. This can't be six or nine, so it's seven. And we've got this digit, which has to be two. So that's going to clean this up. And this up, six and five. And this one would then have to be nine. We can get these two done. That eight, therefore, fin finish the seven and the eight. And we're going to be left with two digits left. And they must be six and seven. There we go. You saw the puzzle solutions correct. That one was a quick one. Uh, once we got through some of the basics of what these options could be on the thermal, it did really uh, pull out pretty easily. Um, 16 plus in terms of time on that one, but uh, still a lot of fun. Um, absolutely, I, I don't shy about putting um, some of the quicker solves and easier solves on these puzzles. I mean, everybody needs to have a nice, fun, easy one to solve every now and again. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed that one, and uh, we'll pick it up again tomorrow, and uh, we'll get things going. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.